If you guys want to see how I got from this to that to get this for it to turn out like this, make sure you guys keep watching. Hey guys, so this wig is from I See Hair. This is a 130 density wig. This is probably my first time working with 130 density. And um, this is a 26 inch wig and this is 613. So we are going to go ahead and start with this color first. So I'm using this Shimmer Light Shampoo and I'm just going to put it in the water and I did stop up the sink. Everything I'm doing is from the sink. Is I'm not using any other buckets. I just feel like this is a easier way. So I'm just go ahead and mixing up that shimmer light shampoo with some water and then I'm going to go ahead and dip my wig in just so we can get the brassiness out of the wig before we go ahead and color. I never did this before but um, I never did this like before I start learning how to do it and I just feel like doing it this way it just makes the color come out a little bit better now that you're getting all the unnecessary tones out of the hair before you to take to the frontal in the wig and make sure you guys dip the beginner of your frontal in the wig first so that the color can really really take at the roots and then you know just keep dipping your wig so at first just keep dipping you guys see the color is not really taking at first when you dip the hair in the water and take it out it's not going to be automatically purple so you have to keep keep dipping and this is just the first bottle so you guys see the color is taking but it's like a faint lavender it's not that lavender lavender look that that i had achieved so um you guys are just going to see me put it in the other bottle and then dipping it again so it's very self-explanatory so i'm just going to let you guys watch this whole process of me coloring and doing all that
I'm just gonna go ahead and shampoo now you guys this shampoo I got it from my local beauty supply store and I really like this shampoo in particular I like using it for my hair and for my wigs because this shampoo does not make your hair it doesn't dry out your hair and takes out all like the oils in your hair you can still brush through your hair with this shampoo on and that goes for wigs and natural hair so I really recommend that shampoo and so then we're going to just go ahead and condition as well and we're going to come back when everything is done but you guys are just going to see me washing the hair i still had the shampoo in it did take a while for the suds and stuff to come out and also i would recommend that you guys wash your hair with cold water after you're shampooing and conditioning it and just keep keep washing your hair until all of the color comes out now if you're washing your hair and it's still like purple residue as you guys see keep washing your hair until the water is clear you don't want any colored water because that means when your hair gets wet it's going to bleed on your clothes so make sure you guys just keep washing it with cold water and wash the hair until it is clear Okay, so now we are on to the installing. I did go ahead and just, you know, blow dry the hair. I didn't bleach the knots at all. So I know I get a lot of questions when I am working with color. You guys asked me, did I bleach the knots? If you guys did not see me bleach the knots, I didn't bleach the knots. So um, I just went ahead and just put it like on right from me blow drying it. And as you guys can see, like I told you guys before, please make sure that you dip your frontal in first when you do the color so that it won't be too light at the top now that wasn't a problem for me but um just so you can get that one color all throughout and you don't want any other colors coming through just make sure you guys do that so you guys can see I'm just cutting my lace and I'm just preparing my hair for this install I'm putting on a skin guard by Erica J and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the glue and the regular process that I normally do with my install so for this I'm not gonna talk too much I'll come back to you guys after everything is done
guys so this is what the hair looks like after i just put a little bit of wand curls in it and as you guys can see the hair still has a lot of body and it is that cute purple color the lights in the back kind of match the hair now that i'm looking at it <laughs> but yes okay you guys so this is the final look for this hairstyle i really don't have no complaints with this hair um there is a little bit of things that i wanted to go over first now i've had this hair in my hair in my head for like a couple days now so i did have some wear and stuff about this hair so one thing i would like to say is with the shedding this hair does shed a little bit but all wigs do shed so even your real hair shed so don't if people say if people say this wig does not shed or if they be like uh, if they're promoting the wig and they be like, oh, this wig does not shed, no shed at all. Like, they're capping, y'all, because all hair sheds. Your hair sheds, wig shed, but the shedding on this hair is minimal. So, it's minimal shedding. So, when you're looking for wigs, you guys, minimal shedding is what you want to look for. So, when I'm putting my hands through, no strands. When I'm putting my hands through, no strands. So, that's really good. But, um, it did shed just a little bit when I was brushing it. And make sure you guys do brush the hair, like, frequently. But, like, you don't have to brush it, like, so much. But make sure you keep your hair brushed because it is going to tangle. And I let this hair sit in a bonnet for, like, a day. Took it out. It was kind of tangly because I have not brushed it in a whole day. So, I did have to, like, brush it out and stuff. I just added some little wand curls. I wore the hair straight for most of the time. So that wasn't bad at all. The shipping for this hair is the standard shipping time. I suggest that you guys look on their website and see like if they have any COVID regulations or not because you know most websites have their standard shipping time and then they'll say due to COVID this this that or whatever. So make sure you guys check that out to make sure that the shipping and everything is good for you. But all in all I really love this hair. I see hair you guys know these are this is one of my favorite companies. I haven't tried a 613 wig from them so I am I was really excited to receive receive this wig and do a cute fun color only thing that i did not like about the color is that um the, on the edges the color start fading away over time because you like I, you guys know i did have this wig in for a couple days now so i did have to redo baby hairs and stuff and some of the baby hairs are kind of out of place on how they was when it first installed but yeah I still really, really like it. It's really cute. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel. And we'll be back with more videos soon. Stay blessed.